What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name of course is Multikills HD, and uh, today I want to go real quick into the video before I go into what I want to talk about today, uh, with the Microsoft, you know, Xbox One console being reversed, the decision with the DMR, uh, the DMR was basically going to need the Xbox One to be connected to Xbox Live, or you know, online, once every 24 hours, to be checked for updates, checked to make sure you have all the licenses for the games, or whatever the case is, nobody really knows yet. But they pretty much scrapped that idea, and uh, now a lot of people are getting into console debates whether the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One is going to be better. Personally, I'm going to go ahead and just say, you know, there's good for both. Whatever one you go with, you know, that's good. But please, please, from all of us gamers, please stop saying the other console is a brick and useless, no matter if you like the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. It's just pointless at the end of the day. You know, if you really like the PlayStation, you know, you're probably going to like the PlayStation 4. If you like the Xbox, you're probably going to like the Xbox One. You know, if you like both, you're probably going to like both. But just please, please just stop the console wars, guys. But anyways, what I want to go ahead and talk about today is PlayStation 3. And you may say, you know, the PlayStation 4 is about to come out, Multi. Why are we talking about the PlayStation 3? Well, let's go ahead and get into this, because this one just so happens to be the firmware update on PlayStation 3 yesterday. The same day that Microsoft made the reversal to the, you know, DMR and being connected online once every 24 hours. They also had this problem where, uh, according to the PlayStation Twitter account, the 4.45, which is the patch number, update. So the update was originally supposed to have, you know, trophy notification options and improvements to the system stability. Well, it was kind of different than what Microsoft was probably expecting. One being, uh, when they were recently tweeted out about this, I, I couldn't even believe it happened at all because, you know, I know Sony's one of the big people now that uh, make sure 110% that all the updates that they push out are all good, you know, they're running great, and, uh, you know, they're make they make sure that the security is really, really great compared to the last time it wasn't so great with, uh, you know, the PlayStation Network being hacked for a couple months. So I know Sony always checks their patches. Well... This may have been one that they didn't check. So the PlayStation 3 yesterday was offline because the update that they were supposed to be pushing out made many, many systems crash. And what happened was a lot of the systems weren't able to get back online because they were permanently frozen. So this gave a lot, a lot of attention to Sony for, you know, allowing something like this to happen. And, you know, one side of it, you got to look at it like, you know, bad patches happen once every once in a while. And obviously this was one of those. But you also gotta look at it like Sony, you know, probably should have been testing these a little bit better, and I'm sure that they are going to be doing that in the future. For the people that lost their console yesterday of, you know, the PlayStation 3, hopefully they can send them in and get them fixed, but if not, you know, it's just going to make Sony look bad. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. My name, of course, is Multi Kills HD. And